mean, one of the greatest obstacles we find is an unwillingness to share information by public authorities, for example. Um, uh, you know, people delaying the, 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 the sending you information in the hope that you'll forget about it or you kill the story. So we often ask about um, certain figures or certain issues. We, we write to, uh, to public authorities or to, to ministries or to whatever, um, asking them to provide us with information that can verify either statements that they themselves have made or that other people have made. And very often we find a, a reluctance to, to give us that information, um, either, because they, either because the statement isn't true in the first place and they kind of don't want to reveal their hand, or it's because they... They maybe don't trust the work that we do, or they don't. Um, they don't want us to kind of have that information for whatever reason. So that is probably one of the greatest in the difficulties. Another one is sometimes we find um, a lot of misinformation that can't really be fact checked. So. So it will be presented in a way that could be considered opinion, for instance. So someone will make a statement, but rather than making a statement, they'll phrase it as a question, or they'll phrase it in a way that, you know, you can't really say this is untrue, but you, you know it's untrue or you suspect it's untrue, but you can't kind of automatically verify whether it's true or not, because the way in which it's presented is a little more sophisticated. So that's another difficulty, the way in which kind of um, the more sophisticated ways in which um, misinformation and disinformation is spread. And I think this, uh, this is without going on to all the issues about AI, for instance. I think this is something that will be far for more, more problematic over the next couple of years than anything else. So deep fakes and you know, manipulation of video and, and all this sort of thing.